This should be winning somehow for me. Where's the win? Queen D195 and there's no win. Oh, uh, I guess there's no win. So I guess I'm just, oh, I just, oh my gosh. I just hung my rook. What was that? Like I said, you guys, I'm just a very, very talented player. What can I say? All right, I sent out like 20 challenges. Somebody's got to want to play some Blitz. This is getting a little annoying. Okay, we finally get a game against Jagalka, so let's, let's play some Blitz. Okay, let's go A6. Let's play B5, C6 here. Second place entitled Tuesdays. Didn't think you would have made it to the top. I got a little bit lucky at the end. I mean, I really started gambling hard, and I was able to win some games that I probably should not have won. Um, but... You know, that's why we play the game of chess. That's why you play it. It's a fun game, and you never know what the outcome is going to be. Some days Magnus will win. Other days Magnus won't win. And that's just life. Let's go Queen C8. I'll play C5 here and keep going. But yeah. Okay, let's go here. Target the pawn. But most days Magnus wins. Somewhat true. Let's hit the pawn on A5 here, of course, and, and go from there. Subscribe. Thanks for streaming Hikaru. Yeah, thank you so much to Clex Owls for the 18 months. Okay, it goes rook, rook there. Um, I mean, I guess I'm going to go here. Maybe trade and go Queen C3. I don't know if I like it. He plays Rook C1. Very humanoid move. Um, I can go E5 maybe. I think I'm just going to do it. Try to uh, play in the center of the board here. Maybe Knight F6 at some point as well. Benjamin wants to play center re request. Okay, I'll play two games and then we'll play against El Benjamin El Benjaminito. Um, of course, what I just did was not ideal. It goes there, which I'm actually fairly surprised by so I'll go here I do the NY times wordle you guys I'm, I mean I'm sure I can do another one too but that's the one that I do I don't know I should have gone bishop eight and rook b5 by the way this was not what I should have played but whatever of course I'm gonna go here trade some rooks looking pretty good what happened to Parham? I think Parham's just chilling in France these days, if, if, unless I'm crazy. Um, so nothing's happening. Although he did play the tournament in um, in um, in Belgrade, Serbia. He did. So he played that one. Now the thing is, I can actually take. I can also go Knight B3 here. I can also go Rook B5 here. I mean, there's so many different options. So much time. So so many options. So little time. Um, Knight B3 looks kind of interesting. Eh, Rook B4, Knight B3. Let me think about this. Takes takes. Knight B3 takes takes. Oh, let's just do it. Let's have some fun. I, I, mm, eh, eh, I don't know, but let's do it. Whatever. Let's see. This might be bad, but I want to try it. I'm almost certainly going to be sacking material on D5 at some point. Almost for sure here. Parham would win this easily. Yes, he would also win this easily. Now, what I'm banging on is that I have some F5, and I can chip the structure and attack before I lose the B pawn and win the game with this, this past B pawn. That's what I'm banking on. Now, I have Queen C2 here. F5 is the move that I'm trusting has to be right. So I'm gonna go, I'm just going to go for it. Ale, 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 as they say. And um, and if he takes, I can take with the pawn. I can also just take D5. I also have Queen C2 here. Isn't F4 just winning? <gasps> oh, wait, no, Bishop. What? I have Queen C4. Maybe he missed. Ah, I think he saw this and he missed Queen C4. He thought Bishop B6. I only had Queen C1. I could have also taken the pawn too, maybe, and taken, but whatever. This this looks good. Okay, so of course I should just take. Now, at some point, I can obviously sack. I, I'm not going to sack quite yet. I'm just going to go... Queen C2. I'm trying to line up an ice skater with Queen uh Queen Queen D1 checkmate. Now I have Bishop H6 here. I can also sack maybe. I go check. Maybe I just go. Oh wait, no, but he can just take. Never mind. That's stupid. Mucho stupido of me. Uh, but if I take and play Knight F5, Queen D3 trade. Rook C3, Knight D3. Yeah, I think this works. Let's go for it. I have Knight F5 to hit the Queen. Not takes is on queen d3, but now on queen d3, I just trade. I go e4 and I fork the rook in the knight, and I should win the game. Any survivor on the docket? Probably not. I mean, we're we're, we're playing chess right now. Um, 
Today feels like a day. I, I've, I've done Survivor a lot lately. I'd, I'd like to maybe try to get my rating up, play a little bit more Blitz, potentially. Try to get back to, like, 3,200. Um, please play Benjamin. Okay, well, I mean, the thing is, I will play him. But again, you have to do be fair all about the fair play and play two games. Like, I mean, you have to be fair. I, I can't just play one and run. Like, you, you just don't do that. It's just not cool. So I have to play a second game, and then, then I'll play Benjamin. Haven't you taken a bath? What do you mean? Uh, play 10. No, we're going to play 2, and then we'll play him. Did I see Dvorkovich's interview? No, I didn't. I, I am not familiar with it. Um... But yeah, you guys can obviously share it with me if you want to. Oh, he's got A3, which I missed. This ain't the RCC. Yeah, yeah, RCC is best of one. That's true. Yeah, RCC has the best of one. All my games are one and run. That's just that's just that's just bad sportsmanship, honestly. Just not cool, dude. Let's go here. I'm gonna develop my bishop, I guess. And I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go here. I don't know if this is good or not. Yeah, it goes there. I think I'm gonna go here in knight c2, maybe. Let's go here, trade the knights off. Play. Goes queen c7. I guess I go here. Go here. I guess I'll go here, maybe rook d1, keep it simple. Let's go here. I'm actually I think gonna go like queen b1 and try to reroute my other knight, maybe. Okay, it's knight d7. Now I'm guessing I should obviously trade and go like queen c7. Go here and trade. Of course, I'm also hitting e5, so you can't really ignore it. Don't knock over your rook, indeed. Uh, I thought I could take... Oh, you know what? Let's play this like a... I'm going to play this like a um, Levon Aronian. Aronian loves to sack his queen. I'm going to sack my queen too. Levon loves to sack his queen in these sorts of situations, so I'm totally just sacking. I have knight c5 here. I mean, this looks just lovely for me. Absolutely just a lovely, love. Oh, I could have taken because there was an ice skater. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I like. I love this position. This looks like a dream. Active rooks. His bishop on h7 is not very not very attractive, shall we say. Although he does have a d4 idea, which is, could be a problem. I don't want to go here because the bishop f5. Wait, how do I... Actually, that's a very good move by him. I missed that. Okay, I guess I go here. Not in love with this. I guess I'll go here. Create a wooden shield. And it should be decent. It goes bishop h3. Logical. I guess I'll just go here and take. I could have moved the bishop, I guess, but... Not in love with this, I have to say. No, I think I misplayed this a little bit. Go here. I mean, it is, it is a wooden shield, for what it's worth. I mean, a wooden shield is pretty valuable. Yeah, I don't really like what I've done to this. Yeah, I guess I'll go here. I want to go rook a5, maybe, at some point. Now, I can also take and go here, I guess. Because he, he he put this pawn on A3, which is very, very soft. H5, I mean, I guess I just go... Do I take or not? I think I'm going to play H3 and G4, maybe. Maybe I should have gone H4. I don't know. It's hard to judge. Or maybe I should have just taken. Okay, let's take, of course. Why wouldn't, shouldn't it be Vibranium or something? Okay, thank you, Captain America. D4 is a good move that I forgot existed too. Very poor. That's extremely poor by me. I just forgot he had D4. Should've just gone D4. Why did I take on A3? So bad. Got 43 seconds though. So if I can find some way 
I go here. Yeah, I'm really not happy with this. I still can draw the game, but very, very unpleasant. Definitely not how one wants to play this. Um, I just have to make moves. Let's go here. Start running the A pawn, maybe. Oh, I missed that complete. Oh yeah, yeah. Ugh. Oh, he takes. Okay, but now I get a blockade, maybe. Now I get the king up. that was close that was very close we got the dub two up two down and now we will play of course against el benjaminito parham would not have won this okay good one okay so let's play benjamin he's been waiting so we'll play benjamin play parham i don't think he's online sorry india to host the olympiad in chennai okay uh mods if you have articles let me know um one second Okay, let's go B4. We'll play the same thing. Play Dayak Bogdan. Yeah, I could. Um, I will cover that. If there's an article, I will cover that for sure. I would love to play. I'd love to play Bordnik, but he's playing. He's playing a bunch of Bullet right now. So let's just castle. Okay. Okay, let's go C5. I beat Rasmus Swain when he was 1900. Well, if you beat Rasmus Swain when he was 1900 rated, and he's now like a 2600 GM. My man, I don't know what were you, you were doing for those like five or six years when Rasmus was grinding hard and becoming a grandmaster, but you weren't doing what you need to be doing, my man. Okay? You weren't doing what you need to be doing. Um, okay. I'm going to play... I'm going to go Rook FB8 and take. Um, yeah, I mean, if Rasmus was 1900 and you were beating him... That means you were probably 1900 or 2000 when he was 1900 or 2000, and then he went to 2600, and you didn't go to 2600. So, yeah. <laughs> Hard truth. Brought to you by, by Hikaru, yes. Yes. Okay, he goes H4. I mean, he wants H5, obviously. Now, the thing is, I can actually take this pawn. It's fairly sketchy. It looks very sketchy, in fact, but it's funny. Is it really all that sketchy? I'm trying to figure out if I can go H6. I, I don't know if I can. So I think it makes more sense to come up with a logical continuation. Um, what is the logical? Knight A5, H5, C8. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a greedy mofo and just take the pawn here. This probably will I'll probably get mated somehow, but I'm just gonna be greedy like a computer, and I'm just gonna bring my knight back. What are my thoughts on Sir, Sergei Karyakin? I mean, great player from the great country of Ukraine. It's a shame that he lost his mind. That's all I have to say. That's all I really have to say. How did Title Tuesday finish? I got second place. Uh, obviously, after I lost to Dubov, it was going to be pretty unlikely to win. Uh, and Dubov started running away with it. So, um, so yeah, I, I basically uh, I was able to keep it together, win some critical games at the end, and I finished in clear... Not clear, sorry, but I finished in second place, so I get... $750. I will be playing in the late title Tuesday as well, you guys, in case you're wondering. Now, Bishop C4 just seems like an unnecessary unnecessary move by um by my opponent. I don't really understand the purpose of it. I really don't understand the purpose of Bishop C4. It was Queen F4. I mean, obviously I can trade. I can also go E5, maybe. I can also take H6 King G8. I think I'm just gonna take H6 King G8. Oh, I don't have E5. I thought I had E5 here, but I don't. 
Uh, F7 hangs. Never mind. Very poor. Okay, so... I mean, I guess, objectively, I should trade a set of rooks and play, like, knight d8. I'm trying to hold all the glue here, basically. And if I can trade more rooks off long-term, I'm trusting this lone pawn will make a queen in an endgame. Olympiad is confirmed. I don't see any news source on it, you guys, so you'll have to... Uh, so you guys will have to uh, show me the news source, because I don't see it. I'm going to go here, threaten, uh, threaten d5, and force a trade of queens. So I don't see any news. Oh, chess.com tweeted. Okay, all right. Um, it's of course getting very ugly for me. Do I take or not? I think I go here maybe. Because if he takes, I just take the knight. I have to be very careful here. I'm on the brink of losing. Are we human? Or are we dancer? Okay, takes, I take, of course he takes. So I'm obviously worse here, but the but it's maybe salvageable if I can find some critical moves. Like maybe knight b7, knight e4. So somehow I have to activate. Maybe queen b2. It looks like a logical move to tie down the uh tie down the rook here. Really put pressure on this rook and distract him so that I have time to bring my rook into the game. I mean I'm sure that I okay, now I go here though, I distract the bishop. I mean he can obviously take, but I don't care. I literally don't care about that pawn. I guess I can play queen b3 as a move. Rook c6 is also a logical move. Actually, I kind of like this to attack the bishop. And now I go king f8. And queen h4, I think I still have f6. I mean, very sketchy, but I think I'm kind of okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Oh, that's a huge blunder. Oh, I just blundered the game away. He misses it. He had queen h4, which was GG, basically. Um, if I, Can I find a way to survive? Oh, I've got no time either. Wait. Still winning, though. Yeah, he sees this one. I've got... But I mean... There we go. Oh my gosh. I win the game. Unbelievable. What a, what a, what a shocker. Crazy. Oh, thank you, XCSME. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for the resub. Wow. He, he had Queen H4 and Queen G5. Now, he found it, but he used too much time to get there. And again, I, I figure we both have 10 seconds. Just play on. Maybe something good will happen. How can you win that? Well, you know, as as, uh, as Roger Federer would like to say, I'll use the classic takeoff. You know, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a very talented player. What can I say? Uh, so I'm going to castle and play e4 next move. Okay, pretty good. My rating is almost back to 3150. So slowly, slowly getting up there. Did Federer say that? Yeah, he accidentally said that once. And then he tried to walk it back by, you know, I also put in a lot of work and other stuff. But yeah, I showed the clip the other day. There, there the, He just, he, he, he was trying not to say it, but then he accidentally said it. And then, of course, everyone started laughing. And then he's like, okay, but, you know, I work really hard and all that other stuff to try and make it sound like... Uh, sound like uh make it sound like he didn't actually say that kind of okay i guess i go i go here and take the pawn that's such an awesome statement i'm also incredibly humble right <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah yeah okay you go c5 i mean i can play like g3 here i don't know it's good wait isn't this just a blunder oh he's got bishop h2 oh i didn't that took me forever. I didn't spot that forever. Wait, I didn't even see this for like 20, 20 seconds. Jeez. I thought I could just take, but he was Bishop H2. I need Elite Geek for the 19 months. Thank you so much, Elite Geek. Appreciate it. Thank you. So we have about three hours, I think, until we have, uh, until, um, until Title Tuesday begins. Okay, takes, which I'm kind of surprised by. I thought I could take and like go Knight C6 and all kinds of nastiness ensues. Especially because there's no check now. There's no, uh, there's no, there's no fossil anymore. Because queen a6 looks like a bad move to me, optically. It looks very, very wrong. Methinks it is wrong, indeed. Methinks after knight c6, 
it goes rook c8 i have some rook d6 97 ideas there maybe are some anastasios in this position too maybe just queen d wait a second this should be winning somehow for me where's the win queen d1 95 and there's no win oh uh, i guess there's no win so i guess i'm just oh i just oh my gosh i just hung my rook what was that Like I said, you guys, I'm just a very, very talented player. What can I say? No, that wasn't being nice. I think he actually missed it because the movie played was not a nice movie. He was being nice. He would have played something like Rook C8. He would have done something that just offers a trade and keeps it balanced. No, I mean, he legit just, he just legit didn't see it. Um, I'm a lucky SOB. Of course I'm lucky, you guys. What can I say? Luck, luck is my middle name. Let's go here. And now I'm gonna put pressure on these pawns here. They're very, very weak. Um, of course meanwhile benjamin is like um benjamin is like shaking shake he's like he's shaking his fist in the air he's like why can't he carve a blunder like that against me you know benjamin's out there and he's just like he's shaking he's shaking his fist at the air right now let's go rook c7 um i'm putting pressure on f7 here this looks very scary oh but he has rook e7 but wait actually nah, i think i'm gonna go here i don't know if this is right we need two is kind of a strange move i'll go here Okay, it goes queen b3. It's not as easy as that. Maybe you know what? I think I'm just gonna start expanding on the on the uh, on the king side here. It goes rookie eight. I guess I'll go here. Now I have queen f3 though, and there's actually a problem I think, or maybe I just uh, rook f3 knight a4 queen b5. I go queen f3 f6. Nothing works. Go rook c7 rook e7. Let's go here. I want to go queen f3 here. Like, really go for, go go in the big dub. Although he does... Ah, he's got queen b1. I didn't see the right triangle. He, had a, he has a right triangle here. So let's go back. This is a threefold. It's not, right? Because I played h4 in between. Maybe h... Just go h5 and go for the kill with this this line as well. Wow, I mean, this looks terrible. I go here. I mean, queen f7, queen e8. I mean, oh, maybe it doesn't quite. Okay, he does that. Wait, wait, rook e7. So I'll come back. Oh, time is actually a little bit tight again. I just realized. So, I've got to move. Um. Go here, hit the pawn. I have bishop c5 as well. Should just be winning. Yeah, it's just winning. Um, sh shoot, I don't actually know. Why did I do this? Okay, terrible, terrible technique, but whatever. It's four zero, let's keep going. Horrible, horrible technique. Yeah, I know that Magnus, Aroni, and Topolov all got their highest rating ever by playing you. That's not surprising, I guess. Again, you guys, you gotta have a good old mouse. That's how you win. If you have a good mouse, you can get to you can get to like twenty eight hundred a bullet without too much difficulty. It's all about the mouse, which is why you guys gotta go make sure to get your super light Logitech mouse uh, if you haven't already, because that's what's gonna help your your chess rating and bullet go all the way up. A sellout, hashtag ad, sellout, sellout, sellout. Yeah, thank you. 
Much love, my man. I'm going to go here this time. Something slightly different. He goes there, which is also logical. I think I'm going to put this rook here. Play this a little bit differently. I mean, I could have gone bishop h8 too, but I don't really like it. I'm going to just go here. I have king h8. Parham would never sell out. Agreed. Yeah, Parham never would. That's true. Yeah. Place h3. I mean, I can obviously go like queen d8. I can also just go h6. Maybe kick the queen out of town. Okay, goes queen e3. I mean, this is pretty dank. I'm going to go back. Maybe knight c6. Try to pressure the pawn at a5. I mean, this is not very exciting for sure. What is the source of all the Parham jokes? Uh, I don't know. Someone started when I played against uh, Serana. And it's just kind of spiraled from there today. Someone start, It started with the game against Serana. Which I, which I should have won, and then it got very messy. Um, okay, let's go here. The pawn at a5. It does that. I'm going to take and go... Oh, I was going to go d5. I guess I'll play e5. I had the wrong concept, actually. Whatever, we just play. Who is Parham? His name is Parham Max Sudlu. He's a very famous uh, Iranian chess player. Close to 2,700 these days. I don't know if he actually is 2,700 at the moment, but very, very close to 2,700. Very strong player and um, always a dangerous opponent to face off against. Uh, oh, that doesn't work. I guess I have to go here. Eh, I'm not thrilled by this, but it's still chess. Chess is chess no matter how you shake it down. He's Iranian like Biden said. Yeah, well... Everybody slips up. Even I have my moments where I forget things. He goes rook c1. Oh, that's probably a, actually quite a good move. I'll hit the bishop and go knight d4 here. Let's go here. I mean, I can take... This is actually starting to look very nice for me, in fact. But he has f3, which is also a good move. His knight's a little bit off sides here. So I'm going to try to maybe use these knights, get get over to the king side here, maybe try to get a pass pawn and put the knife on f4. Very tricky though, very, very tricky position. Okay, he goes there. I mean, I guess I take, because I can just trade and go knight f4. Eh, maybe that's still Drosh though. Yeah, he takes with the pawn. Eh, maybe this was a mistake. I guess I'll go... Here, I'm trying to keep chances to win the game alive, but, like, takes knight f4, basically. So knight f4, queen g5, maybe. I mean, it's a little bit scary for white. I'll go here, of course. And I have queen g5, obviously. Just there. I can take h3, I can take d5, too. But if I take d5, it's just a draw. I'm gonna go d3. I'm gonna try to win this game, which might... Oh, I'd rookie 8, maybe? Uh, maybe I had rookie eight, which was better. Now, now this gets very scary because now rookie two and suddenly, isn't he just checkmated on G two? Shamat, go here. Yeah, I mean this is just a disaster. Suddenly this whole thing collapsed in like two seconds. Let's keep going. So e3, maybe d4, bishop b2, bishop d3, knight d2. All very, very standard, standard stuff. Did I say Shamat? Yeah, I did. Why not? Go here, f c4. Go queen c2. Again, finally starting to get my rating back towards respectability. It's still ways off 32, but slowly but surely building the rating back up, which is obviously a good thing. You've been on Twitch since 2018. How do you not know chat, how chat works? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm still going to play E4, trade it all down. I mean, he has Bishop A3. Who is Par? Who is your idol and why is it Parham? Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's just trade. Let's go here. Queen H4, of course. Uh, I mean, he's just an amazing chess player. What can I say? Just an amazing chess player. He's trying to go A4, which I understand. Um, I kind of want to attack here. I think I'm just going to go for it with Knight G5. 
I think I'm just gonna be a very I'm just gonna be a total caveman here. I think I just go go all in. Okay, I'm just gonna be a true caveman and go for mate. I think I'm just gonna actually even just go rook f3 and takes. I'm just gonna be a total caveman here. No no worries whatsoever. You need a push him, push him. I literally don't care. I'm just gonna be a caveman. I, I see idea to sack and create checkmate, I go for it. Relax. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a caveman. Wow, Rook A5. Uh, now the funny thing is I can actually take B3 and B7 here, which is interesting. So I go Rook F6, Rook G5. And I play Rook F7, King F7, Queen G5. It's very interesting, actually. Huh. But Rook A5 is not... I also have Knight H7, maybe. Wait. Rook F6, Rook G5, and I play Rook G6, maybe? Take so. Huh. I mean, Rook B3 is also very interesting here. I think I'm going to... Then he has Queen E7, but then I get, then I get this one, too. Very double-edged, but an interesting idea by Sergey. Wonder if Rook F6 was good or not. Probably not. Eh, whatever. Yeah, so he takes. Now I eat the juice. So I'm going. I'm again trying to be a caveman and go for checkmate. Okay, I mean, is this really is there really no checkmate here after Rook, rook B1? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm gonna be a caveman. Why not? I'm just gonna go for rook b8. Rook b8 or rook f7. I mean, I'm just trusting that somehow I can mate him on the king side here. And maybe I can, maybe I can't. Thank you to Pass Pawns for the 40 months. Thank you so much, Pass Pawn, for nearly three and a half years. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Amazing. Okay, now I do have rook b8. Takes, takes, takes. Check king e7. Rook b8. But then queen c1 is a draw, I guess. That's very disappointing. But if I take rook f7, check, check, wait a second. Knight f7, rook f7, rook f8, rook b8, rook f8, trade, trade, queen h8. King e7 loses, king f7, check, knight e7, queen. ooh, I got to go for it. That looks too juicy to pass up. Looks too juicy, I got to go for it. I'm going for shamat here. Shamat. It might work, it might not work. I go check. I go check and queen d8. I think I'm winning here. Maybe it's queen d7 to try and salvage it, but I've got an outside wing pawn, so it's probably over. His king is also stuck. This is GG. Are we going to get a new sibling? Hopefully. Although I do need to use the restroom, so I'm probably going to take a short break after this and go use the restroom quickly. But yeah, hopefully. Am I going to TwitchCon in Amsterdam? No chance of that. Um, uh, No chance. I, I actually, I honestly, I don't know when it is, but no. Um, Okay, I got to use the restroom. So I'm going to take a short break, run to the restroom, and we'll keep come back and keep rolling right along. Give me a few. All right, let's keep going. Oh, let's get back. Yay! Yakinov underscore for underscore president. Oh, thank you so much to X Bellyvo. Thank you to Yakinov for president. Cantaman, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Jigalgo thinks I use stockfish. Very funny. Um, yeah. Because I only I only made like five blunders along the way, but hey, whatever. Thank you so much for that suggestion. We're all uh, we're all a little bit worse off for that suggestion, Billy. Or actually, that's probably that's not the exact phrase. What is the exact phrase from Billy Madison? We're all stupider for for you saying that. What 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 is the saying? I I forget what is the exact phrase. What is the exact phrase from Billy Madison? It's something like we're all stupider because you said that or something, but I, I don't remember. 
Thank you to Drunk Hoopla for the Prime. Thank you so much. Yeah. We never know what you reference. Okay, thank you. We're all dumber for having listened to your statement. Yeah, what is Billy Madison? I mean, come on, you guys. You don't know what Billy Madison is or something deeply, deeply wrong with you. Play Rook 8 B8 here. I don't think anyone in chat is old enough to get that. Seriously? You think... Wait, what? Huh? Wait a second. I have to think. Oh, does he have some C4 trick? But I have Knight B3, Knight D4. F6, Knight E4. I mean, it's a little bit sharp. I think I'm going to take... Uh, I don't really like this position, so I'm going to go Knight E5. Try, try to simplify a little bit. I don't actually feel all that happy about it. Quit looking at me. Yep. The only chat Billy knows is Billy Ailish. Yeah, okay. Let's say create the wooden shield, obviously. Okay, so we're trying to make it 7-0 here. Yikes, imagine not knowing Billy Madison. I know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe kids just aren't the same today. I was like, oh, and I just blundered. I just blundered. Yeah, and this this one he's not going to miss because this one's too easy to see. Yeah. Yeah, so for all those people who said somehow I'm like, I'm cheating or something, please get over it. Um, the question is, is there some way I can try to create, create counterplay? That's very disappointing. Um, Bishop C6, Rook B8, Bishop A4 takes. Nah. Ack. All right, let's just take, I guess, and... Nah, but this is just losing, of course. Although I do have some trick, maybe. No, I don't have any tricks. Hmm. Let's go here. I'll play on, just because why not? Normally, I'd probably just resign this position, but yeah. Stockfish dynamic compensation mode? Exactly, yep. <laughs> dynamic compensation. That's, uh... That's one way of putting putting what I have here. Definitely not the not not actually correct. I mean, I can't flag him because he's got one minute plus. Knight f six was so stupid. I just I just keep the game going without it. I mean, maybe you can actually just take and go bishop f eight anyway. But whatever. Tricking your opponent? No, I mean it was completely fine until I allowed that, but. Queen g5 is kind of a strange move, actually. Like, wait, what is Sergei doing? Why did he play Queen g5? Now, I mean, I'm still completely lost. But there's no actual, like, instant win here for white. So I take? I could have taken with a pawn, too, I guess. But I mean, at least now I get some d5 or something, or... Okay, I do have, like, Queen e8, maybe? I also have f6 ways. I mean, obviously I'm completely lost with perfect play, but I, I want to see if there's somebody I can trick him. F6, Queen, G3, maybe like D5 or something. Oh, whatever. Let's just go. You, you just got to move. Let's go. Go here. And I'm trying. I mean, definitely trying to confuse matters here. Okay, there. Let's go here. Go here. Okay. I just have to somehow reach an end game. Okay, if I can get the end game, I'm gonna win. He's got five seconds. Okay, what why why can't I move? Move. Mmm! 
Let's go again. Let's go again. Seven up, seven down. I don't know how he lost that one. I mean, he never should have lost that one in like a million years. That was very poor. I'm going to be honest. That was very, very poor by Sergey. A Parham wouldn't have won that. That's probably also true. Yeah, Parham probably wouldn't have been able to flag him there. Uh, but, you know, Parham, I mean, despite that, is still a tremendous chess player. We, we can all agree on that. Um... Oh, wait. Actually, I'm... Ugh. I guess I go here. Eh, this isn't really what I wanted. But, okay, whatever. It's still chess. I thought I could take, but there's E4. You just get Caspina for the 23 months. Thank you so much, Caspina. I appreciate it. Thank you for the resub, man. And sorry about the misunderstanding earlier. All right, let's just go. Ale, ale, ale. Ale, up the king side. Why are we roasting Parham? We aren't actually. We're complimenting Parham. I think he has to go like G5, H4, H6 or something. I think you did yelling at Sharp for the 25. Too much Ale today. Yeah, exactly, you guys. He's, I think he has to play like G5, H6. Talent can only take you so far, Parham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Queen E6 is... Huh? Wait a second. Wait, what? H3? Wait, what? Oh, he's Knight H2? I mean, this looks really weird. Whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to castle. This looks very suspicious, I have to say. Maybe this is wrong what I did, but this looks... Oh, okay. I'm just going to take and take. I mean, he's got these pieces down here that don't look right at all, kind of. Okay. I mean, of course I go here. Of course I have knight c4. Maybe king b1 was... Uh, king b1 was a better move because... Yeah. King b1 was a much better move than knight c4. Let's go here. Okay, I guess I'll just come back with the knight. Not happy about this at all. Now, obviously, take. I expected that. But I mean, I figure, I mean, okay, objectively, I'm, I'm in some trouble here. But I don't know. I feel like. Okay, I feel like I'm just going to move my king. Get the king out of any weird, like, diagonals. Go here, maybe. Target the knight. An H6 logical move. Let's go here. Target the pawn. Go here. That was a bad move too, probably, but okay, whatever. Go here. I can actually sack, maybe. Yeah, I'm probably sacking, almost for sure. Oh, he's got queen f3, of course. Hug. Maybe I can do a double sack somehow. Can I sack on g5 and f6 and play like d5? Doesn't really look good. Actually, I think I'm just going to go here. Oh, and now I just blundered anyway. Should not have lost this game, but I got careless. I mean, I guess I go... I don't know which square. I guess I go here. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably going to sack. Okay, just that. I'll go here. Trying, trying to somehow find some miracle. Um, that does not exist. I'm quite sure of it. Go here. Don't even care about this pawn. I mean, I have like nothing here. Wait, is that a pawn? Go here. I'm trying to actually create some kind of weird in-between interference here with like Rook H1. Oh, he's got this. So I take. Still losing. D5 was wrong. I should have played the other order, of course. I should have also checked him on G8 too, but whatever. You can make a draw if he wants. Okay, I guess I check and go here. 
I think I'm gonna win this game on time. Yes! There we go. Thank you, Davos, for the tier one. <laughs> should have taken the draw, eh? Probably should have taken the draw. This castle, keep it standard here. Let's go here. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me. Thank you to Raxty for the prime. Thanks so much to Raxty. Appreciate it. How? Do I get PTSD every time I move the rook against this guy? Yeah, I've been moving my rook like what? Like a lot, right? Okay, I'm going to go here. This rook a one. That doesn't look right either, actually. I mean, I guess I'll just go here and try to bring the rook down to B3. Target the chain. It's a little bit like a Grunfeld here. A little bit. Who's there? I mean, okay, I have Rook B3 as a move. I'm going to do something very funky. I'm going to do something funky, funky. I'm going to try to double stack on the B file here. Yeah, let's just double stack. I know this is good, by the way, but it looks... I mean, I get the double stack, and as we know, double stack is a really great burger. What can I say? Um, let's go here. I'm trying to put pressure on this chain a little bit, if I can. Probably trade and I'll take. I mean, C1 is a strange move to me. Wait, isn't that just a blunder? Because the bishop hangs? Takes, okay. Of course, I trade. I have knight C5, a knight D3 maybe? E5, rook C4. Wait a second, wait a second. And if I take. D4, Queen, C3. That's just... Eh, it's good, but is it actually winning? Knight, C5, Rook, C4, trade... I mean, he's very lucky. This should be losing, but it's not, I think. I think he's very lucky here. Um, Bishop, D4, Rook, D4. I mean... Queen, H6. Queen, C5. D5, trade, trade, trade. Knight, F5. Oh, there's a very weird draw in there. Um, okay, I don't want to spend too much time because I am down on the clock here. Whatever, let's just go for it. I mean, I have 95. Like, I don't know why I'm thinking so long here. I can just go 95 or even, like, rook c5. Uh, but I need to make... Wait, e5? No, e5 is no... Queen c5, maybe? I gotta move. I gotta... Why am I thinking? I just gotta move. You gotta move. I guess I take with the F-pawn here. I'm not actually sure, though. I think to Enrique Garza. He goes H6, which I saw as a move. I didn't think it was really that scary, though. I thought I had this. It's a little bit scary, though. Oh, did I just blunder? Queen G5? Oh, uh, no. I have Knight F3. Jeez. Almost a huge blunder. That would have been a tragic way to lose the adoption. Sorry, I go here. Queen d1. I mean, I can stack it if I want. I expected that. I have knight c6 here, maybe. I have to find a move quickly, though. I don't want to spend too much time here. This looks like a pretty safe move. Because if he takes, I just take the pawn. And again, there's no checkmate right away, so I should be able to win this. Looks like a pretty good move, objectively. E2. That's actually probably a good move, too, by him. I gotta move, you gotta move. I'm down on the clock suddenly. Ah, I'm too low. Just go here. So I can just take and take twice. Still not wonderful, but it should be okay. I gotta be quicker though. I'm just a little bit too slow right now. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. 
He's thinking way too long here. He's looking for a kill shot that doesn't exist. Thank you to I J to far for the two months. Thank you so much. That's not the move I expected. Um, okay, I'll just move. F3. Um, let's go here. I'm going to... I have queen h4. Um. Uh, wait, check. And mate. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nine up, nine down. One more to go. Something to talk about. Give him something to talk about. I think I nod us with 500 bits. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just gonna do it. Why not? I need a predator V for seven months. Yeah, it goes there. I trade a castle. Standard chess here. Just nothing too exciting. And he plays a5. I guess I'll go here and rook b1. I can also play a4, b4, maybe, but now nah, let's just keep it simple here. Actually, maybe I take with the rook again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take with the rook if he takes. It goes there. Um, I guess I just go back. Why not? Keep it simple. Yesterday, Magnus adopted him. Really? Wow. Okay. Something to talk about. I can even line up the legendary triple stack here, maybe. I guess queen a6. Okay, I mean, I, I think I just create lift for the king. Create the Lufthansa with king g2. But what I want to do somehow is I really do want to line up a... Uh, I'm going to go here in rook b2. I want to line up some kind of a double stack. And it goes there. I take, I go here. Again, I've got the double, double stack into the triple stack. And I think I'm doing very well. He does have rook d5, though, to consolidate, maybe. You think... Oh, Magus adopted him in bullet? Ouchies. Let's go here. Okay, we're going to create the legendary triple stack on this on the uh, file, maybe. He goes knight d5. That's a reasonable move. Uh, I can obviously trade... I think knight e5 is a better... Oh, I gave him b4. Very stupid of me. Really, really stupid. Um... But again, I mean, time is still relatively balanced. It goes rook c3. I mean, I can just play h4, I guess. I don't really like what I've done to this position, though, I have to say. I'm just going to go h4. This might be a draw. I'm not very happy about it, but you know, as I say, it, 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 it is what it is. Um, that's a good move, too. But I do have this. And I can just take with the pawn, I guess. Not loving it. Not loving it. Oh, Magnus didn't adopt him. It was not. It was nine zero. Ah, uh, okay. It goes queen c four. I'm actually making a hash out of this. I might lose this game. Go here. Just need to keep the time. Keep the keep the pressure on time as well. Hmm. It was 10-0? Okay. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm struggling here, but he's getting low on time again. Why did I play instantly? Why didn't I just think there? Arctic 11, 10, just three subs for three so months. stupid of me. Did not not think there and just move instantly. I'm gonna go queen h5 or something. This also is no good too because he's got queen c6, which I also just missed. Okay, he doesn't take advantage, so so of course I go here. Here, he's down to 40 seconds, so I might be able to flag him. 
If I can, if I can reroute my knight, I think I can flag him. Um, let's go here. He has queen e2 to make a draw, but you know what? I'm gonna flag him. This is the 10th game. If he goes queen e2, I trade go rook b7, and I flag him. No doubt. Okay, he does it. I'm, I'm going for the flag, my man. I'm sorry. It's 9-0. I have to do it. Normally, I'd actually give the guy a draw here, but I, I gotta go for it. I gotta do it. Um, normally, I would give him a draw for sure here, but there's too much, too much riding on the line. Get the dub! 10 out, 10 down, you guys. Thank you to Arctic for the three months in a row. Terrible, terrible final game. But hey, we find a way. We find a way. 